Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone. Uh, there's a fire behind us. This was uh, Olgird's place, and uh, there it got a little rambunctious. Fire burned the place down, and long story short, we are now the proxy to grant his three wishes. We only actually know two of them, one of which is to go and commandeer this auction house, and another is to show his dead brother a good time. So, it's going to be tough. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, what I am going to do from here, though, because I didn't like his attitude, is we're going to take care of a few things on our own that we are interested in doing. Uh, those involve going to figure out all of this rune right stuff. Uh, so we need to get some hunks of jade along the way. Uh, is it jade that we need? I should double check. Yeah, hunks of jade for the Ophiri rune right. Uh, and along that way, we've got a whole bunch of other probably interesting things that we're going to uh, check out on our way to get there. And then, uh, who knows, we might even go see Shani very soon, so... Let's, uh, let's just head on out. I'm actually really interested to see how this all ties up, like... I know that I can't really fully trust either of them. Um... <laughs> the, the Mirror Man and... Olgeard... It, none of them are trustworthy, so I'm, we're going to be put in a lot of pretty strange positions, I think. Which is, uh, it's good because it keeps things interesting, but it's bad because there will be decisions that we have to make at some point, and I'm not going to know who to trust. Oh, this is probably not great. What? Okay, what are these? These are... I don't think we've ever seen this, and if I, if the name at a glimpse is what I think it is, that's freaky. Uh, let's go insectoid oil. These are arachnomorphs. I don't think- whoa, this is new! I'm gonna assume, though, that they don't like fire. Wow. Come on. They're all like, I think they're all protecting the big one. Oh, are you kidding? Come here. Wow. What now? Okay, what we really need... Not even this one. Although this will help. I want like a dragon's dream. Let's switch those in really quick. Dimeridium, dragon's dream, let's grab that. And dancing star would be great. Oh my god, they just swarm you once they get the net. Come on. And they're so skittish, like... They cover ground a lot quicker than we do. There we go. Come on. My god. If you're not going to come to me... Uh, 
All right, so we've had like, we've had warthogs or pigs or boars, I should say. And now we have spiders. This is, uh, this is interesting. Monster nest, best destroyed with a dancing star or grape shot. All right, and I've forgotten to loot actually the previous monster nest, so got to make sure that we do that. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> let's head right up through Bowden. What are you doing? This is uh, okay. No comment, Roach. I'm not judging. <laughs> Hello. I don't mind fighting the odd golem. I really appreciate that the enemies are seriously tougher. Very strong. Igor Desad's journal. Notebook documenting research undertaken for the dissertation on the workings and construction of golems based on the work of Master Alzur, written by Igor Desad, a student at the Banard Academy. Only a portion of the notes have survived. Day 134, came across the remains of a destroyed golem in the swamps outside Vizima. Words could not describe the rage that overcame me. The brickmakers who keep a settlement nearby told me this act of vandalism was perpetrated by some white-haired witcher. I wonder who that is. I had heard the members of the guild were vile horsons. But to stoop to that? The idea struck me that I might find something of use in the Oxenford Academy archive. I managed with great difficulty to cross the Pontar, but once in Oxenford I met with an unpleasant surprise. The Academy has been closed. Luckily I was able to gain entry thanks to the help of a professor acquaintance of mine. Thank you, Slavoy. I thus was able to dig out a few dust-covered beauties and Eureka. Near the village of the Hedel, or of Hedel, there's a tower which purportedly once served as a workshop to none other than Master Alzur himself. Uh, day 164, I made it to the tower. It's inhabited. A rather eccentric gentleman has made it a roost for his flock of harpies. I saw him feed their chicks pork. Inconceivable. But let's return to our core concern. The tower which this loon has turned into a harpy nest truly might have been or truly might have once been Alzor's workshop. That means the, this place might be the very place, sorry. That means this might be the very place where he conducted his research into golems. Next day, it's here, standing motionless in a stone circle. The local peasants think it's merely a strangely formed boulder. But then again, how could such bumpkins ever guess they pass a masterpiece of magic construction on the way to feed their chickens? I have Already fastened a lightning conductor. It's a shame there are no druids nearby. If I hadn't slept through my course on meteorolo 
meteorological magic, I'd summon a storm myself. But as it is, I can but wait, patiently or otherwise. Day 171. Been sitting on these cold stones waiting for a change in the weather so long my bowels have almost frozen, but it's finally here. I must stop writing now for drops are falling on my notebook and smearing my notes. The first rumblings of thunder sound from the distance. I cannot contain my excitement. Soon the golem shall live again. Yeah, and look how that worked out for you. I don't think messing with golems has ever been a good idea. Although, he did seem relatively knowledgeable on this subject. Oh, you know what? I should check. We got a saddle at one point. Ophiri stock saddle. Uh, so it is better saddle than what we have. Let's throw that on. Whoa! I thought we may have already had it on because we made a reference to Roach about looking good or something, so... Oh, look at that. It's nice. That's Oxenford, I believe. Am I right or am I right? Yep, I'm thinking so. Or actually, that's not Oxenford. Because Oxenford's over here, that's just the Oxenford gate. I'm not sure exactly which tower that is. talking about exactly I think they said silver tongue but that could be literal or not not much jade here need to keep looking oh really oh really okay so we're gonna have to check all the locations Move that's it. fine Oh, we got Arrakis out there. What do we have underneath? Oh, these are the worst! We'll have to check the, the B-Serie entry as well because... Although I feel like fire is nat the natural spider deterrent, I could be wrong. Blood rot pit. Okay, let's actually check this out. Insectoids, arachnomorph. Oh, I'm wrong! It's not fire. Uh, it is insectoid oil, obviously, but Ard, as we kind of saw, a similar saying could gain ground in our land concerning arachnomorphs and everything unable to flee them, meaning most every creature in the world. True, the tillers of the earth and fellers of the trees need not fear them in their daily labors, for arachnomorphs as distant post-conjunction cousins of common spiders strongly prefer deep, dark caves and unfrequented sodden swamps. Anyone who does come across them, however, had best hope his conscience is clear and his worldly affairs are in order for his life shall soon end. 
as not even the fastest man in the world can outrun them and only a few witchers can hope to slay them. Even worse are the more aggressive and dangerous kind known as Arachnomorph Colossi, which are capable of devouring an entire ox in seconds. Hello. A bent key and a yellowed letter. Mate, if you're reading this letter, it means you're a free man. New Drakenborg can never free you, or can never break you. I feel damned, but it was you they fingered back then. Fate's a bitch at times, ain't she? But you're a maid man now. I hid your part of the loot in that cave they wouldn't let us play in when we were young. Great. Was full of the massive spiders then, but not a sign of the critters now. Hunters claim they've migrated elsewhere. Not enough to eat here, so they won't be coming back anytime soon. That lasted long. So it's safe, but the bad memories do a great job keeping out nosy hayseeds, making it the ideal hiding spot for loot. The chest is buried in the second part of the cave. Get it, and you'll be a rich man and can drink and wench over the end of your days. See you later. You know where. We'll bathe in wine and live in luxury. A.D. Hmm. If we can get them pinned against a wall... Come on. Oh, I'm trying to throw this bomb, but... There we go. That seems to be best case scenario, is you pin them against something. Oh my god. I would really like to take on, like, a toad-sized one of these guys. How do you get into the second part of this cave, though? It doesn't appear to be something we can just jump over. Here's a big one. Costly miss. Damn it. Let's take out the little one. Come on. Oh, they're so quick. There we go. Now, let's focus. Quick, I'll give you that. Now jump at me. That'll work too. Burn, buddy! There we go. 
I don't care if they're not weak to fire in on paper. Hello. Nice little chunk of change there, for sure. Sounds like we may still have some company here. There we go. Now, is that... Do we only need the one, or do we have to continue venturing north? I don't think so. I think we only need the one. Okay, so, back to Bowdoin. actually take a second here to replenish. God damn it. The cat potion strikes again. Dogs live today. I'm looking forward to getting into some Gwent actually at some point because now that we can guarantee it'll be a little bit more difficult, be interested to see what they pull out. I imagine we still have a pretty good deck though. All right, teach me everything that you know. Oh, he's up here now. Your brother's dead in Tenaria. Ain't no remiss. Made good use of my coin by the look of things. The return to my craft. Know you not the pleasure it brings. I thank you. Don't mention it. How's the work going? Several lesser runes I forged already. Practice this. <laughs> Yet I sadden in thinking the tools and ingredients I possess are not fit to create better. Got lucky. Found you some jade. Here. Thank you, I do. If you to gaze wish at my handiwork, to do so, I invite you. Yeah, uh, whoa! 10,000? The rune right can enhance your items by fitting them with rune words and glyph words. These endow them with new powerful traits. To enchant an item, navigate to the rune right panel. What? 10,000. Northern realms, like it here so far? Oh, yes. Never have I seen woodland so expansive or skies with such colors brushed. Nordlings, however, peculiar they are. Tight-lipped, closed me in. Hmm. And bandits the high roads riddle, but on the horrid conflict- Okay, um, before we get into enhancing, let's just see what you're selling. Wouldn't mind a glance at what you got. Because maybe we can work out a bit of a trade. It looks like we can, I'm really close. Um. Oh, they don't know, even know what that will afford me. Um, I will go ahead and sell off what we're not using. Campaigner's boots. Um, the saddles that we no longer need, he can have. Uh, we want to keep our relic swords, and we're going to keep the order um, clothing here, just in case that comes in handy in the future. What is this? Temporary lowers the required level. Oh, right, that thing. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Let's sell some of the stuff that we're not using. This stuff's worth something, isn't it? It's worth a little bit. Can we sort these by price, please? Let's just sell a bunch. Oh yeah, he's broke, right. Let's sell him what he can buy. Okay, now. Should we give him the advanced? Oh, should we give him? Let's do it. Let's dive right in. More coin. Put it towards better equipment. Thanks in the thousands. Too kind you are to me. Tens of thousands. Your work's worth the coin. We don't even know. We're heavily investing in this man before knowing what he can do for us. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set nice. from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created, I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. Let's hope so. So, nothing holding you back now. From making mastercrafted runes, you mean? <laughs> Much oh more my god, this investment. Do so. Sadly. This is a heavy investment. 15,000. Wow. Okay. Let's start with what we Grab have. Something for me, would you? Let's start with what we have. So, you can enchant items to fit them with rune words or glyph words. These cannot be used simultaneously with runes or glyphs. When you enchant an item, any runes or glyphs it is currently fitted with will be destroyed. So, it's either basic runes and glyphs or rune words and glyph words. Fair enough. Uh, items can be embedded with rune words and glyph words and thus enchanted appear here. Uh, only items possessing three enchantment slots or enhancement slots can be enchanted. Okay. This is the list of enhancements or enchantment <laughs> enchantments that can be used on a selected item. Special sets are of enchantments are required to enchant and thus enhance weapons and armor elements. I gotcha. Uh, a description of the selected enchantment appears here along with its cost. Enchantment have various levels. A rune right can enchant an item of your choice only once he has reached a level equal to or higher than the level of the enchantment he is to cast. Okay. Enchantments on the list can be added, removed, and filtered. Okay, what are our filters here? How about we go by can be produced? How did that just happen? It looked like we had some before, like here. Preservation we could make. So, let's see, what does this one do? Armor's table and grindstone bonuses never expire. Okay, not bad. Placation, once they reach their maximum level, adrenaline points steadily decline until they reach zero. During this time, vitality and stamina regeneration are accelerated and toxicity declines more quickly. That's pretty good. Look at all of these, though. Rejuvenation. Each fatal blow dealt restores 25% of your stamina. It's good for, like, dealing with mobs. Uh, elation. Fatal blows dealt with your sword give 0.1 to 0.25 adrenaline points. Okay. Uh, severance. Increases the range of whirl by 1.1 yards and rend by 1.9 yards. Those are something... Those are things I would actually like to um, invest in when we redo the tree. Dumplings. Any food consumed generates 100% more vitality, but everything tastes like pierogies. <laughs> That's fine by me. Rotation. Igni's basic attack strikes all opponents in a 360 degree radius, but no longer applies the burning effect. Oh. Not sure I'm totally stoked on that one. When a trap set by Erden hits an enemy, an Erden glyph is placed at that position. An Erden glyph. Okay. So it's just like, is that like kind of a non-stop trap? It hits them and then gets reset. Enemies affected by Axie will be affected for two seconds longer for each blow they land. That's kind of cool. Protection. When you enter combat, there's a 100% chance you'll automatically get a quench shield without using any stamina. That is really good. 
We need a Glyph of Quen, Erden, and Warding. That's really cool. All equipped armor items are treated as medium armor. I could see some benefits there. Depletion, hitting enemies with Ard reduces their stamina by 50. Okay. Uh, usurpation, when an enemy affected by Axie dies, the effect transfers to the nearest target. That could also be quite strong. Ignition. Enemies set alight with Igni have a 25% chance to ignite other enemies within a two-yard radius. I like that as well. The reason that I think the uh, the filter didn't work is because of the money. Now that I'm looking at it. Deflection. Armor deflects all arrows. Not bad. And all equipped armor items are treated as heavy armor. So there's some good synergies there with our with our tree. But I'm thinking right now the one that I would really like is. I think protection. A glyph of Quen, a glyph of Erden, and a glyph of Warding. I think that would be really cool. Um, problem is, we don't have any of those glyphs. So, we could buy them. But they are very expensive. Glyph of Quen, glyph of Erden, and a glyph of Warding. But uh, these are very, very pricey. I could probably trade him some of these things for his. But, um, yeah, it's a bit strange how we're going to afford that. Because he doesn't have a ton of money either. We got to keep that in mind. We could sell off some of this amethyst dust. We don't want to sell all of it. Pearls, we could probably sell a bunch of. Let's just get rid of them. Um, if we're going to buy a Glyph of Quen. Let's buy one. That puts us just a little bit short. We need Erden, which is 957, and Glyph of Warding. So we need about 16, 17, I guess about 1,700 more Orins. Um, I might have to just make the sacrifice here and sell our relic. But can I get it from other means? Perhaps. Perhaps. These are all pretty cheap. Let's get rid of the dimeridium plates. Meteorite ingots can go. That gets me a Glyph of Erden. And now we need Glyph of Warding. You know what? I'm selling the Relic. I hate to do it. And we're also selling the Order of the Flaming Rose stuff. But uh, it is... It is happening. I really want a rune. <laughs> a rune word. Let's sell the diamonds, shall we? Who needs diamonds these days? Okay, and now we need enough for the recipe, actually. So, that's not good. Uh, let's go ahead and find some more stuff that we can sell. I'm not going to sell the dragon scales. We'll reduce these a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's enchant our woven armor. Or, okay, none of the stuff that we have can have sockets added. So let's enchant this with protection. I don't know why it's red. Hmm. Are you sure all ruins or upgrades currently placed in the item will be removed? Yes. There we go. Okay. I guess red is just, we just don't have it, maybe? That's cool. I, I like that. Um, oh, and it, it didn't cost me anything. Did it? Craft something. That's really interesting. I'm seeing this cost here, but I don't think it charged us for some reason. Maybe the first one was on him? I don't know. 
Thanks. So long. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Yeah, we see it there. Automatically get Quen Shield. That's uh, honestly, I think that's really good. There's probably some other uh, better ones, but uh, for our first one, I think that's not bad. It's a passive we don't have to worry about that's very beneficial. Um, yeah. So I know that part was probably a, a bit tedious um, for you guys to watch, but if it's the first time you saw it, then I wanted to make sure that you guys had an opportunity to see it as well. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to head off to probably talk to Shani. Yep. Let's just see where all of these are located. This is down at the Herbalist Hut. Okay, so that's to the south. We've got rows on the field. I think this is in, in Oxenford, is it not? To collect it? Yes, it is. Um, Dead Man's Party. Whereabouts is this? It's in Oxenford as well. So if we wanted to do that, we might as well grab our reward while we're going in there. And this one is Oxenford as well. Oxenford is going to be our jam for a while. Um, on the way, we do have a few things. What I'll probably do, since uh, we'll, we'll probably have to come back here at some point, I will actually... Um, just jump over there, and then we will uh, make our way up here and handle all of the different things along the way at that point. Okay, so we're going to head into Oxenfurt, and uh, when we come back, that's where we're going to pick up. Thank you guys very much for, uh, for watching, and uh, we'll do a bit of a longer episode for the next one to, uh, to uh, appease the parties involved. That's you and me. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.